Hey guys, so this uh, video is our next unit on um, a bunch of different things actually, but one of the areas we're looking at is uh, similar triangles. And so it's a bit of geometry. And uh, we're gonna take a quick look at um, what, uh, what makes something similar and then how do we, how do we use that information to um, answer um, other questions about, about uh, the, the image we might be asked about. So for example, here, here we have um, a triangle that has two uh, parallel lines in it. And um, we see we've actually got uh, this big triangle ABC. Uh, triangle ABC. And then if you, if you actually take away um, part of that triangle, you'll get another triangle, which is the triangle um, DEC. I'm not sure if you can see that. Um, you can look at, I'll just redraw two triangles separately. So I've got the triangle ABC, ABC. And that has that line right there. And then you have a triangle D, E, C. A bit smaller, I guess. D, E, C. Okay. And um, I guess we're looking at this topic called similar triangles. So obviously this must have something to do with similar triangles. Otherwise, why, why, why would I be talking about it? Um, but before I jump into similar triangles and what it means, um, I just want to look at parallel lines first of all. So I'm just going to go over here and zoom in on this uh, picture. And um, I'll erase my little bit of work. You might put that back in a bit. And what we're curious about is if, if you have parallel lines um, uh, and a line going through them, which this line going through is called a transversal. Transversal line. So it's a line that intersects two parallel lines. Um, is there anything that you could now say about all the angles that get created here? Because if you look at the picture, there's lots of angles now. You've got an angle here, an angle over here, you know, angles down here, all, all over the place. So is there something we could say about those angles that um, would, you know, allow us to uh, maybe do um, a, uh, would give us information on how to, so let's make sure I erase these properly. There we go. Um, and it'll give us information about the, the similar triangles that would allow us to make um, other inferences about those. So what I want to look at was um, something I'm hoping you guys have covered uh, in previous uh, math classes, and that is a triangle, okay? And maybe a, maybe we use a rectangle or a square. Let's use a rectangle maybe. So I'm not sure if you guys, um, hope you've done this, we'll see, um, with your other teachers, is that a, a rectangle um, and, a, and a triangle um, actually have a, a set number of degrees uh, if you look at all the angles. So in a, in a triangle, if you take the three uh, angles, three base angles here, and you add them together, um, do you know how many degrees that would be if you add, add those three angles? Well, in any, any triangle, it doesn't matter how big or how small, um, all the angles in a triangle will always add to 180 um, degrees. And in a, in a rectangle, um, it's a rectangle, you have a 90 degree here, 90 degree here, 90 degree here, and 90 degree here. And if you add up all those angles, um, you get 360 degrees. And another way to look at that too, if you, if you know the triangle rule, if you just draw the diagonal in a rectangle, and you're looking at this triangle, and someone said, well, how many degrees are in that triangle? We would say there's 180 degrees for the three angles because we just learned that up here. And the other triangle is 180 degrees. So really in any rectangle, there, there would have to be a sum of 360 degrees for, for all the angles. So if we were to take our rectangle, and let's say we, we kept um, one side being 90 and 90. And let's say you just made one side longer. So you created this you know, four-sided shape um, quadrilateral, um, but uh, it wasn't a rectangle now. Well, what would still be true is that all the angles would add to 180. So this angle here and that angle there, they, they would obviously be different angles. The one at the bottom is much bigger than the one at the top, um, but they would have to add to 180. So in a um, equilateral, sorry, in a quadrilateral, sorry, um, all the angles would have to sum to 360 degrees. 
So I'm gonna I'm going to um, uh, use that information to see if we can make sense of this this uh, idea of parallel lines here. Okay, so um, let's say that we draw a quadrilateral. Now we're going to draw um, a line uh, down here, and let's make this. 90 degrees and make this 90 degrees and so these parallel lines they're going to keep the same distance apart no matter how far down the road we go and what i'm going to use now is this part of the green line to create my quadrilateral okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in an angle um that's um so i put in an angle here that may not be the ex exact angle but it's, it's just a, a reference for us so that we can do some math and, and calculate that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this angle right here, that angle there. Let's call that angle um, A. Okay, and I'm just going to say let angle A equal. I'm just going to ballpark it here, 40 degrees. Now you're going to see that you could change it to any number you want, and, and the same information we're going to get from this is going to be true. Um, now since the angles in a quadrilateral. Um, have to add to 360, then what do you think this angle down here would be? This angle here. We'll call that angle B. Okay, so angle B. Remember we said that all the angles in a quadrilateral have, quadrilateral have to add to 360 degrees? Well, we've got two 90 degree angles over here. So that's 180. 360 minus 180 is 180. And if we minus the 40, that would give us 140 degrees. And of course, if you, if you made angle if you made angle a 30 degrees, then you would get angle B being 10 degrees more now at 150 degrees. So you, so if you notice, these numbers always add to 180. So that's an important little thing we're going to try to remember here for this. Okay. So we know that angle A is. 40 maybe. If, if, if angle A is 40, then angle B would be 140. So let's just get rid of those other numbers. But you, you can make them whatever number you want. And what you're always going to find out is that angles A and B will always add to 180. Okay. Now, if you have a line, a straight line, and you measure that angle there, how many degrees is that? Well, we know a full turn is 360. Like if you jumped up and spun right around, that's 360 degrees. So if you jumped up and say you spun around, so you were looking directly behind you, um, that would be 180 degrees. So all the angles on a line always add to 180. So if angle A is 40, then this angle here on that side would have to be 140, which would actually be the same as angle B. So that would be the same as angle B. So the brown angle and the green angle have to add to 180. And of course, if you look at the angle up here, the brown angle and that, that dot there have to add to 180. So that dot has to be the same as the green angle. And then um, the green angle plus the brown angle would have to add to 180. So we notice that um, in, in, the, in the parallel lines, the transversal seems to have angles that are the same and the angles that are different. And so in the bottom diagram, you can make the same, the same assumption. that This would have to be the brown angle here. That would have to be the brown angle there, angle A. And on the vertically opposite side would be angle B. Now there's lots of terminology that we could use here that I'm trying to avoid. And it's more just to get you to see um, the parallel lines and how the transversal has angles that are the same and angles that are different. So I'm just going to shrink this a little bit and I'm going to do uh, draw another set of parallel lines. And I want you guys to, on your own, so, so pause the video here after you get the question. Let's just draw two parallel lines and let's draw a line like that or transversal. And I want you to put two um, shapes on there. I want you to put an X and a circle, a dot maybe for the angles that are the same. So just to start you off, let's, let's say I made this the dot. I want you to put on that diagram all the angles that would be the same as that dot. And then the other angles make them X, or the little cross there. So let me pause the video and try that. 
Okay, so I know that these two numbers have to add to equal 180. So I know that must be x there, that must be x there, and that must be the dot there. Now, it's a bit hard to make the jump to the next one, um, but if you look at the diagram above, you'll see that the brown angle here, I'm just going to draw it in there, is the same as the brown angle here. So they're actually on opposite sides um, of the diagram, which means that the dot here, that dot there, must be the same as that one. And that would be 180, that would be 180, and then those would add to 180. So that's kind of the pattern we have to remember, I think, if we see parallel lines. Um, so if you go back to this diagram, here's your two parallel lines. And what I'm gonna look at is this pattern here. Now I'm gonna circle it in red for you here. Is that see how this angle is the same as this angle, okay? So angle at corner A here, let's do that. We've got our two parallel lines. That would have to be the same as this angle. So imagine ro rotating this picture and then you've got your two parallel lines and you've got your transversal AC. Um, and so those two red angles would be the same. So why do you on your diagram do this? What about angle B here? Let's go B is this angle here. Where do you think another angle would be the same as angle B there. Well, we've got our two parallel lines, A, B, D, C. So our angle here. Oh, I just got notification my triathlon's been canceled. Ugh. Anyway, so those angles would be the same there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do a bit more work with uh, with this here. So what what does it mean to be similar then? Similar triangles. Uh, so similar triangles. There's sort of three things that make triangles similar. Um, one is um, oh, where's my rules here. So rules to be similar. So the rules to be similar triangles, um, there's three of them, three things that make triangles similar. Um, and one is um, the side, side, side rule. Okay, and um, that is if you have two triangles, let's just say this triangle here, this was, um, three, five, and let's just say seven, okay? So three, five, seven. And then you had another triangle that was say bigger. And let's say this side was six, this side was 10, and this side was 14. Now the sides are definitely different, like they're, they're different lengths. But if you look at the numbers, um, you should see a pattern with these numbers here that, that make the triangles related to each other. So we have a side of three and a side of six. So this side is three, this side is six. And so that's cl clearly double. Uh, we've got a side of five and a side of 10, which is doubled. And we have uh, the side of seven becoming 14 also doubled. So if, if the sides proportionally are affected by the same factor, that, that in this case timesing by two, then these two triangles will be similar to each other. They're, they're different triangles, but they're similar. So what does that mean to be similar? Well, it means that um, the angles here and here would actually be the same angle. And the angle up here will be the same as that angle. And the angle on the far right, that angle, will be the same angle. And so these triangles are similar, which allows us to do calculations to predict their sides. So for example, if you knew they were similar, let's, let's say I told you this, I erased that 10 there, and I said to you, these are similar triangles. What, what, what could you do with that? Well, you, what you'd want to look for is how are they, how are they similar? That is, that is, how have they been affected? Well, all the side lengths have been times by two. 
So since you know that this side here is five, this side here is five, and you double it, that would give you 10. And so this is sort of one way in which we can use similar triangles to predict side lengths of, of triangles. So this is if you, if, you, if you have three sides and you see a correlation between the sides, that all of them have been uh, increased by the same amount. Now, if, if for some reason you, you had a question where this was six, um, 14, and let's just say this side here was, um, was um, 11 or something like that. Um, well, then these, these two triangles would not be classified as being similar because they, they have different, um, different lengths uh, in terms of the ratios of the portions to each other. But if it's a 10, then they are similar. They've all been multiplied by two. The other rule um, for a triangle to be uh, similar um, is the angle angle rule. I should probably call it uh, AA. So the angle angle rule. Okay, and that is if you have two angles in a triangle, so two of the angles in a triangle that are um, the same. So if you have, I'll just draw a line here, separate these two topics. So let's say you have an angle, Okay, so let's, let's say you're told that um, you have this picture and you're told already that the angle A and the angle B are the same. Okay, well, so, so far you know that one angle um, in these triangles are similar. And um, what about this other angle though? How would you know that? Well, if you ever have a cross, if you ever have like a cross, an X there, okay. Um, the angles that are vertically opposite to each other, so this angle and that angle, will always be um, the same value. And this is very much related to the parallel lines that we talked about. Um, if the green angle uh, down at the bottom here and this angle, the blue angle right here, since they, they form a line, the green and the blue, they have to add to 180. So the green and the blue add to 180, and so the blue and the, the, blue and the other green add to 180. And then, of course, this has to be 180. <clears throat> so if I ever see a cross, what I look for is vertically opposite angles. So in this diagram we just drew here, that angle there, the blue dot, is vertically opposite that blue dot. So they have to be the same angle. So this triangle has to be similar, not necessarily the same size um, in terms of the sides, but they have to be similar to each other in terms of the angles. And the reason for that is that when you have a triangle, the three angles when you, when you um, add them together have to equal 180. So the blue dot, the black line, uh, black angle with a line in it, and this red angle, they would have to be equal to 180, which means the blue dot, the angle with the black line, and the red dot have to add to have to add to 180. So they they are classified as being similar. Okay, um, and then the last case for similarity between triangles is if you're told um, SAS. Okay, and that would be um, a side, angle, and a side. And it has to be in that, that order, okay? So let's give you an example like that, okay? So let's say that you're told that you have a triangle. And you're told that this triangle here is um, five, six, and has a certain angle here. And let's say this is um, three. No, it's not three, that's gotta be, let's say six-ish, I'll say four. Okay, four, okay. And um, let's say you have another triangle, much bigger looking. You're told that angle is the same as the first triangle you just drew, but this side is 10 and this side is 12. And you look at the two pictures and you're thinking to yourself, well, look, what's sort of similar about these things? Well, they have the same angle, that, that's exactly the same. But the other thing that's similar here is that the ratios 
between the two triangle sides are the same. If you look at the five, you've turned it into, or it's been turned into 10. So it's been doubled. And the six has been turned into 12. So it's been doubled. So this it shows a, a proportion ratio and also an angle that is actually the same here. So what do you guys think this far side would be here? Let's say you're trying to find that side. And you're saying, well, this looks like a similar triangle. It's got this sassy rule to it. Uh, side, angle, sides. Uh, the angles are the same and then the proportion of the sides are the same. Well, since I've doubled the other sides by two, maybe, maybe I double this side by two, which makes sense. And that's true. If you take that four and you double it, that would give you a side length of eight. So proportionalities have to be related to each other. Um, and uh, the angles have to be the same. So there are three rules that makes make us, uh, triangles um, similar. And um, there's lots of other things that might look like they're similar, but if they don't have these properties, then they won't. They they may not be similar to each other. Um, and so just just because I draw a triangle that looks similar, if I if I said this was uh, four, six, and let's say three. And I said this is 12, um, six, and nine. Um, well, they, they may look kind of similar, but they're not. Um, and the reason being that proportionality wise, if you're looking at the side, side, side rule, um, six goes to 12, so that's doubling. Three goes to six, that's doubling. But if you double four, you should get eight, which is which is not nine, of course. Um, so this these, this uh, pair of triangles would not be similar to each other. So you can't just go on what your gut says. You you basically have to have one of these three rules true, um, and that that would make the the pictures um, uh, similar to each other. So just to wrap things up here, this is a, a sort of a quick little video. Is I want you to take a look at this picture, and I want you to see do. Do any of the rules um, apply here for this picture? Like, like what would make this, like why is this similar? Like why are these two triangles similar? What makes ABC similar to, to DEC? Okay. And so for that, I would I might redraw my pictures out again, just as I did these kind of quickly here. And what I what I now know is um, let's just draw a bit more accurately. Draw this. Let's just make this A, B, C. Actually, A, B, C. Let's get the letters right. And um, a smaller triangle. And that was D, E, C. Okay. Now, once again, in order for these to be similar, it has to be one of these three rules SSS, AA, or SAS. Okay. So what do we know about the picture? Well, we know that the red angle here in A, red angle, the red angle, the red angle, thank you, uh, A is the same as the red angle of D, okay? And we know that the green angle with the dot in it up here for B is the same as E. And we knew that because of parallel lines. That's the rules for parallel lines. So does this fit the criteria of any one of those rules? Do we, do we have an SSS rule? Do we have an AA rule? Or do we have an SAS rule? Well, to me, it looks like we have the AA rule. We know two, tri two angles in the, each triangle are the same. Therefore, the third angle would have to be the same. So this, this angle down here, this uh, purple angle, I'll call it, this angle here would have to be the same as this because all three angles must add to, to 180 degrees. So how do we write that? How do we, how do we say it's uh, similar? Like what do, what do we write for that? Well, the rule for writing similar triangles is you draw a little triangle, little triangle like that, and you draw a little triangle like that. And the symbol for similarity is this little tilde, looks like that, okay? And now what's really important though is how you actually write out the letters for the triangle. So the little triangle is given three letters based on the three corners of the triangle, so A, B, C, um, but you might think, what about ACB or you know, CAB, CAB? Um, and so when you write these out, you have to have the corresponding angles related. So the first triangle, I don't even really care. I, I usually just write it alphabetical. I just say ABC. So I say triangle ABC is similar. So that's similar to triangle. Now you've got three letters here. So you could arrange these in different ways. 
But what you want to make sure is that you relate the letters in the right way that relates the diagram. So remember, the red angle was A, and the other diagram, that was D. So I have to write D first, because D is related to A. So what do you think the next, if I make, if I make the second letter B, what should I use in the other triangle? Well, B was the green letter, or the green angle. So E is the green angle. So I have to use E. Okay. And then my last angle is C, which is still C because it's the same angle. They share a same, a similar angle. They are similar, so they share the same angle. So what if, what if um, uh, someone had written a uh, cab though? They said triangle cab is similar to, what would the other triangle be like? Could you still write D, E, C or would that not be right anymore? Well, the order matters. So if you write triangle cab, then we have to start with C. And then which letter was A related to? Well, A was related to D. So it'd be C, D. And then angle B, that's related to E. So you could write that. Or what, what about, just, just to make it uh, crazy, let's go triangle back. Triangle back, B, A, C, is similar to well, which one's B related to? Well, B is the green one, so that'd be E. Which, which one's A related to? Well, A is the red one, so that's D. And then finally C, which has to be C, same, same angle. So there's, there's lots of different uh, um, ones you can write. I would just make it easy for yourself and make the first one alphabetical, and then just match the letters that are, that are similar, similar to each other. So our next little video is gonna talk about that, basically just trying to decide what um, order do we write the letters in? But for this video, what I'd like you to do is just go over these three cases, these three situations. And if you have sides, three sides, not that are the same, but they're related to each other and that you've multiplied each number by the same ratio, in this case, multiplied by two, or there's the angle, angle, angle case where you know two angles in each triangle are the same angle, then the third angle must be the same, which means the two triangles are similar to each other. And the last rule, which can be hard to see sometimes, is the rule where you have side, angle, side. So the two sides aren't the same, but they're related to each other. They, they're multiplied by the same proportion. So similar to side, 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 but the angle is the same. So side, angle, side, two sides that are similar and they've been multiplied by the same proportionality, but the angles are the same. Okay, so I don't have any specific homework for this one. The next video will actually have some homework uh, attached to it. So hope you guys are doing well and we'll stop there.